Hi, and uh, welcome to this setup video. Um, since we're now releasing the local position system very soon, we thought we'll make a short video to explain a little bit how to go from receiving the stuff uh, until having a crazy fly that flies autonomously. Uh, so what we need for an autonomous crazy fly is um, the uh, local nodes, so that will serve as anchors. Uh, a crazy fly and a local deck that will serve as a receiver, actually, actually a transceiver, ultra band transceiver, and of course crazy radio and a computer that runs uh, ROS. Uh, so the first things to do would be to uh, set the address of the of the node because they all come from factory with address zero, which is not usable. We need address one to six. Uh, yeah, one thing about the anchor is that we actually need a uh, four anchor minimum to be able to uh, locate the crazy fly. We're usually using six because then we get a little bit of redundancy. For example, if someone pass in front of the anchor because those does not work really well in non line of sight. Um, so to set the, um, the address of the anchor, uh, what we need to do is to connect to it with a terminal. They are recognized as a serial port. So if I look at which cell, uh, serial device they've taken, in my computer it's TTYCM3, so I can just connect to it. Yes, with a capital. Now, and when we connect to it, we see that uh, self-test passed and everything. We can see the version that has been flashed in the anchor, could be handy. And by typing A for anchor and one, I will set this anchor to be address one. Next time I restart it, it will be an anchor one. I could set it as a tag, so it will range with other anchors, or I could set it as a sniffer, and then it will print out packets it receives. But for now, we want anchors. So uh, can quit that, disconnect it, and now I need to do it for all my anchors. Uh, put stickers on it to actually find out which one is what. Uh, so now that we have all the anchors, we can uh, go and set them up to fly the crazy fly. So we are uh, now in our kitchen where we have uh, set up the system. Uh, so one of the things is that we need to set up the anchor at 15 centimeters from uh, radio reflective material like concrete and stuff like that. So what we've made is that we've made an um, uh, anchor mount like that in a 3D printed material. And we've set up six anchors, so two on the wall, two high up here on the front, and two high up on the back. The idea is to always have line of sight with the copter, as I said and also to have them at different altitude, which is good for the Z accuracy. Then the next thing is to uh, measure the position of the anchor. For that, I've decided that this corner of there on my back is uh, zero, and this wall will be X, the other wall will be Y, the Y axis, which makes it very easy to, um, uh, to measure the X, Y, Z position of all the anchors. And then all this position has to be entered in the computer. In the computer, we run ROS that we have to uh, install. There's documentation on Wiki about that. And basically, we need two packages. One, which is a crazy flight driver uh, made by Wolfgang from USC. And the second one is our um, LPS uh, ROS node. So, uh, so I entered uh, the anchor position uh, in the anchor pose.yml5 from the LPS package. Uh, and now we can try. So I switch on one crazy fly with a local deck. Uh, we can see that all the LEDs are blinking and all the LEDs of the anchor are blinking as well. It means that they are communicating together. Uh, from the wiki, we've, uh, couple, we have put a couple of comments that are good to test. So the first one is to see the, to see the positioning. The only thing to change here is the address of the copter. So I have mine in uh, channel 117. Um, so this is going to launch RVs, connect the crazy fly, and here we go. There we can see the position of the anchor. There are the red squares or uh, rectangles, and the position, the estimate 
state position of the copter in green. So I can see that if I move around, the position move around accordingly. Uh, now that we have the position, we can try to fly. And to do so, uh, we have another command that's called, or launch file that's called uh, hover. And on the command line here, there is still the copter address, 117. And there is a position we wanted to hover at first. So in my case, I've measured that five meters from the wall on the back and 1.5 meters from the wall on my right is a good position to hover. So we can launch it. Same thing, see the positioning, but this time an Xbox connect, um, gamepad is used to, uh, to control the flight. Uh, so I will be able to uh, fly it. So now that everything is set up, uh, could put the crazy flag on the ground, press the blue button, and then it takes off and hold the position where I asked to. Uh, right now, in this demo, all the position control uh, is implemented in a PC without sense of fusion. The next step will be to implement position control and sense of fusion in the crazy fly. So thanks for watching. Uh, for more information, go to our website, bitcrace.io, uh, or the forum, or just drop us a mail. Thank you.